this exhibition is, is the best part that I've been able to produce over the last two years. This is a very big show, like, the, like all the pottery shows are. I've been 40 years now making pot. When I look at early work, I mean, what I see in it is, is a kind of youthful enthusiasm and, and the vitality as a result of that. Well, it's just a continuous evolution. It's been my life for so long now. It's what I am, you know, it's not what I do. The older you get, the more experienced you become, the wiser you become. You get rid of all the stuff which isn't necessary. The work in, is kind of pared down in that way to what is really essential and it's no different to writing or any other craft really. And I think after 40 years my work is now at that stage and where it has that kind of maturity and hopefully I can keep it at this level for a little longer because it's well known that beyond a certain age then work does start to deteriorate so maybe, dare I say it, it's, it's it's probably at its peak now. The Golden Art Gallery, it's great. It's a, a big ask to produce a show like this. So he does make this demand of us, but in return he gives a lot back, which I've not experienced with any other gallery. And because of that, it works as a, as a working relationship. You know, we put a lot in, and uh, Mike puts a lot in back. The catalogues are extremely lavish and well done, you know. Mike sent a film crew up, the first exhibition I did and, and filmed me and it's a great website so he promotes us really well. When somebody does that then you, you're quite prepared to give a lot back. When things suggest themselves to me I will explore other avenues. For example if I'm making a form which I have made for many times over many years if it occurs to me that something a little different might work well here while I'm actually making it, then I'll go with that. I won't resist it. And if it doesn't work out, then I don't go there again. But very often it will lead me down a new path. Now I see that as being natural evolution, rather than consciously thinking or, you know, telling yourself I must try something different today. I don't want to do that. I, that wouldn't work for me. But what I see in, in later work is a kind of maturity which isn't there in the earlier work. I think it was Potter Jeffrey White who said you should have no regrets about your early efforts nor your later failures. <laughs>